Hello everybody and welcome back to Victoria 2's The Greater Japanese Empire. I did skip forward just a few months. Um, I was planning to skip forward further, but something interesting did happen where I decided I'm just going to start the video right now. Basically, there's a crisis event for Arkansas and the United States for the Cherokee. So that's kind of an interesting uh, event. I mean, I don't know if anything's going to happen from it. I mean, Italy joined. Italy is, uh, well, they're weaker than the U.S. U.S. actually is a pretty strong military, considering things. But I just thought that was interesting, so I wanted to point that out. Um, otherwise, we are just building up our military as quick as possible. Which, hopefully, is quick. Because... It's like small arms, is that what we're... Artillery and small arms, it seems like. So let me just buy a bunch of uh, artillery. I know it's in high demand, but we'll make it more. So, and then we got some small arms that are not in high demand. Let's see what we can do here. Right, that looks a little bit better. Canned food and artillery are the biggest things. So let's reautomate this. Let's buy a bunch of canned food again. Reautomate that. The greater Japanese way. Okay, more jingoism. The artillery is definitely a, a bottleneck here for us. Who is producing the most artillery in the world right now? Us. We are producing pretty much all the artillery. Well, at least half of it. And there goes our throughput tech. So, army is fully flushed out. Commerce is almost there. So I get organic chemistry. We can get electrical electricity, so I do want that. Let's move towards electricity. And this might actually go to war. I don't think Italy will win. Well, they definitely shouldn't be able to win. But that war could drag out, for them at least. Rebel-wise, I don't see very many issues there. There are a bunch of rebels in the country, but they're all pretty weak. So let's build an army really quick, so we should have enough troops for that. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, four. In fact, we could probably build a few armies. Three, four. One, one, two, three, four. So what I'm probably going to have to do is put some armies over into Oceania. And down here, actually, that's probably a good amount of troops here, but we do have a lot of units that we are making that are going to need to be transported. So that guy can actually walk here. You can walk here. Where's our other navy? We have a navy right here. So I'm going to have you head down here, pick up those troops in Malaysia. I think that's pretty much where all the new units are being built. So ideally, we can go wipe this army out before it takes out some of these new units. Or they're just going to walk right past them. Okay, that's fine. And one more here. One, two, three, four. One... One, two, three, four. There we go. And you, my friend, just go here. Yep, uh, US Italy wants war. Alright, let's take you guys. So, don't need you. And as soon as you're here, which should be any second now. For a minute here, you're just going to be seeing me build up our armies. 
but we're getting there. We're almost at a thousand military power. Yeah, and the next closest one is France, but we are pretty far past them. I think it's mostly because our navies are being built with a ton of battleships. We have a ton of military or brigades being built as well. And they have half the amount of troops we have. Okay, um... What is... Why is this army so big? Weird. Probably because they were standing where all the units were congregating. So hopefully we can save this army before it dies. There we go. We saved it. I have a ton more troops here. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, one, two, three, four. And just two more Dragoons in that army is done. Great. And you are heading right back there, so I don't want you there. I want you here. Actually, maybe in Tokyo. So I'll have a few armies just here in mainland Japan just to fight off any invading force if they make their way over here. But otherwise, all these units are fine. Uh, we are going to... Yeah, we're going to go against Russia, and we're going to go against Indonesia. Let's take you guys back. So in light of that... I guess these guys can walk this way. I'll keep you there. I do want more armies. We're not going to have to worry about China. So let's get you guys. Some of these guys are going to need a lot more reinforcements. I'll leave you behind. And yeah, you guys can just head up here. In preparation, go and invade Russia. Ishikari. Yeah, let's just put you there. What is this? We have received reports from colonial officers in Manila regarding rumors of a secret organization called the Katipunan. Formed by anti greater Japanese Filipinos, they reportedly seek complete independence from the Philippines. It is possible that limited home rule might mollify some of these revolutionaries, but nothing short of freedom will satisfy them for long. Tracking them down among sympathetic locals may prove difficult. Well, I do not want to grant them independence, so we will find the rebels and crush them. Uh, ideally, we should probably have an army over in the Philippines then as well. So we will go back here, pick up some of those armies. Yeah, gain some prestige. And here... Yeah, now we should have plenty of more troops to work with. One, one, two, three, four... You head there, and you... Are we missing any troops? Looks like we're still having some troops coming, though. And there's our battleships. So ideally, here we can... We have a few more being created, so I'm going to flip this in half. Each of our fleets... This one we get 14 battleships. Uh, you can go to this fleet. And let's go ahead and actually get some railroads. Yeah, let's buy more railroads. The railroad system should be all the way... Yep, yep, it's maxed. Great. And you, do you have more... Yep, you do. One more army. One, two, and one. One, two, three, four. And hopefully more infantry. Yep, we got some more. In fact, we got two more. 
But now we are running low on artillery pieces. In fact, I should probably put this back up. So we should be building artillery regardless. Because we are producing some. It just might be... Well, let's put our army maintenance down a bit. Because they are demanding... 50 artillery, so if we reduce it, that should free up the market just a tad. Allowing us to create more troops. Yep. Yeah, that should help. Looks like the market's freed up. Great. Uh, state capitalism always. Alright, these armies are good. And you guys, I'm going to need some more down here to invade Indochina. So something like this should be fine. And the rest of you... I guess just stay here in case anybody does an evil invasion. Uh, we will not support any of the parties. Let's build one more army. One, two... Oh, whoops. Still just waiting for that artillery. So anyways, news in my life. So this morning, so basically for the past few months, I've been looking forward to seeing the new Destroy All Humans game. Or it's more of the remastered version of the first one. Um, but when I was growing up, I played that game a ton. So probably definitely one of my favorite games ever made, which is that entire series, but they are making a new one, and it's releasing at the end of July. Uh, just this morning I was looking at it, I'm like, oh, I'm going to just pre-order it right now, because I do intend to play it, and I don't know how many of you have actually played the series, or if you guys actually enjoy it at all, but just throwing it out there that I'm probably going to be doing some YouTube stuff with it. Great, let's keep waiting. We got one more army that we can build here. That's a lot of armies that I did not expect we would be recruiting this many. Well, I guess it is 300,000 troops, technically. Actually, even more than that, because we were at 300 brigades, but now we're at 451. All right, now we got railroads. Pretty much right off the bat, we should be able to see yeah, all these projects. Everywhere gets railroads. There goes my capitalist. They're doing great. Good job, guys. And still a bit more. So we'll wait for everybody to get there. Um, are there any more down here? No. Philippines, no, they should all be walking over there. Like this guy. Or these, what's this guy doing? They're not doing anything. Go to Kyoto. Greek tomb. Let's take it. So looks like it did take us about two years to get all of our armies. Oh, the US wants to ally with me? I mean, temporary alliance shouldn't be an issue. I, mean, I have no qualms with it. 
I'd almost rather be allies with, uh, like, Germany or something. Asha's getting wrecked. What's going on here? Italian Liberation, Austro Hungarian, South Tyrol. They only have one. They have two brigades left. And now Germany has 201. So Looks like their military is finally beefing itself back up. Um, but yeah, I'll take an alliance with the US. I'll buy it. it will be temporary, but at least until we conquer all of Asia and move towards the US. And more Jacobins. Oh, shoot. Um, you. Save them. There we go. Um, no, they're still not going to let you guys be free. It's not the plan. So we declare war on Russia. Who's their allies? France, which is fine enough because we are going to end up needing to take uh, Cambodia from them. They have 39 brigades in Oceania. So Oceania, is, uh, they should be able to support us easy enough. They have three industries. Their industry looks like it is being built up, though, at least. I like slowly. And National Sinja Horde. Let's take them out. Okay, this army should be done. Though it looks like we are missing some troops, or I may have accidentally built too much. Probably the latter. So two artillery and one infantry. I think we could probably find an army that needs that. Uh, like this one. Could use two artillery. Or maybe... No. Alright. Recombine. So you... So the small one goes up here. And you go down here. Those armies should be a lot better, more capable of fighting. So I'll be more satisfied throwing them into battle. Naval bases. Let's upgrade some naval bases. We are over the supply limit just a little bit. Um, looks like we are actually pretty much good. Except down here, there's some more naval bases we can make. And maybe in the Pacific? Yep, here. Hawaii? No, not Hawaii, because we already have a naval base down there. Um, how is our navy like? 347 ships. Though we do have a lot of mana wars that we are going to have to uh, get rid of at some point, but... And let's have you guys combine. So now we have battleships in all of our fleets. Looks like we have one more artillery. Um, you can just go to this army. And supply limit is done. So now we should be able to invade Russia and be a lot more capable of doing that. Let's see what else. Our education efficiency is totally fine. Um, I'm thinking about getting high sea battle uh, fleet just because getting our navy supply up will be good for now. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's get these events fired. First. Well, no. Let's go do this one first. So Emperor Miyokojin proclaims their dominion over the East Asian seas. As our holdings in China consolidate, Emperor Miyokojin addresses the empire and the world. Let's take it. Emperor Miyokojin's address to the empire. Emboldened by the successes in China, you can see our little battleships here, 
uh, Emperor Myokujin has issued an order to expand our borders along the entirety of the Asian coastline. This includes the eastern territories of Russia and the peasant kingdom of Indochina. This is sure to draw the ire of the great powers of the world. However, we stand ready to fight for what is rightfully the domain of the Japanese. It is our responsibility to stand against the Western powers. Let us complete our circle of dominion in the East Asian seas. Let us once again show the Russians just who won the war of Sakhalin. Let us show the world the might of the greater Japanese empire in a united Asian nation. The might of the greater Japanese empire shall be recognized. Oh, I did not realize it gave us 25 infamy. Yep, we're definitely over the infamy limit. Definitely. But we get 100 prestige. <laughs> um, but we gain a ton of cores on a bunch of different territories. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. And all the great powers hate us just a little bit more. But, uh, we're ready. We're ready to go uh, conquer everybody. So take the Pacific. Alright, take the Pacific. The Greater Japanese Empire has finally vanquished their longtime foes in mainland China. The Chinese are no longer capable of maintaining a threat against our great empire. While our empire will certainly continue to grow on the mainland, the great admirals of the Greater Japanese Navy have voiced their desire to also wage war in the Pacific and take out the last vestiges of the European naval strongholds that remain present in the seas. However, it is only known within the inner circles of the Emperor Meikoshin that this plan will ultimately pave way for the Empire to wage war even further in the homeland of the growing American Empire. Let us take the Pacific. Oh yeah. And this one will let us grant Oceania control of the rest of our territories in Oceania. So basically any territories that we have that are Oceanian cores, we will give back to Oceania. Which we could do. Right now, I'm not going to do that just because, I mean, we do have a bunch of troops that were over here. And that would uh, lose our control over that. So let's go beef up our military once again. Get that spending all the way up. Uh, you go join this navy. And we have a bunch of armies here, don't we? So let's get a bunch of you guys. That's a ton of armies. Um, could have all of you invade into. Well, let's put some of you down here. So let's put like three down here, and the rest up here. But we could probably fight everybody at the same time if we really wanted to. Declare war on France and or yeah, France and Russia. And the British. Though uh, the US is definitely going to break our alliance here shortly because we are totally over the infamy. Yeah, definitely. And let's see here. Um, we have troops inside their borders. We do. Oh, I guess we do. Let's put you down here. The price of infamy were international pariah. We figured. You guys, let's combine these armies just quickly. And you as well. And let's hopefully uh, tell this army gets past. I'd rather declare war on them before they declare war on us. Yes, let's do it. Alright, declare war. Choir Corps. All these other areas. But they should be... Yeah, they're below. So let's do it. First, this. We can call our allies and Oceania will accept. Looks like the US already broke our alliance. Um, third Russian... Oh, Russia's at war. Against who? Oops. And it looks like Oceania has, of course, accepted the call to war. So Russia and France are already at war with Italy. And they're losing, surprisingly. I mean, that actually is pretty surprising. They have 19 out of 30 mil tech. France has 20 out of 30. Let's look at our cores really quick. So basically what happened, we got all this as core. So this is going to go back to when we release um, the Yukushin client states. 
which will come a little bit later. And we got cores on all of this. So we can go ahead and start declaring wars down here to restore order. Which we will go ahead and do. So declare war, restore order, call allies. And we'll slowly move our armies into uh, Asia here. Let's get one of you here, here. So we have enough armies that we'll probably be able to just go carpet seize your entire country. Or almost all of it. And they have nobody as their client. So these are their independents, which will make it easier for us. And now we have a bunch of people we're at war with as well. So let's go ahead and send you guys up here. So we're going to want to take a little defensive line across this. So maybe we just send our troops just kind of along this line. It's only five areas. So let's do that. All of you guys should be fine. Most aren't the best, but we will make do. Let's go here. And then wherever is above here, which will be here, and then here. And then you guys, you're already moving up, we'll be able to, well not all of you guys I guess. Right? Yeah, so, I always kind of move like this. Oops. And all these areas should be able to support our units just fine. Some of these are 27, but our army's only 33 stacks. Let's do something like that. The army should be over in the west. So, we should be able to march right into where we, our positions that we want to be in. And regardless, pretty much all of Asia, there's some areas down here, which we could add in this war to free all of the French Oceanian cores and give it, well, to Oceania. And then take this, of course. And you head down here. And you can head down here. And we should be able to just march right up to France. Or French Cambodia. I don't remember if we have an army here or not. I'll send you over there. You. Looks like there is a Russian army. Uh, we do have plus one attack. They will get there on the 25th. But I don't think we'll be able to beat them at all. Well, they're going to Nico. And they won't stop. What's their mill tech like? 19 out of 30. So it's not immensely... We don't have a very hard superiority here. Uh, I'm going to send you, though, to help reinforce that battle as soon as it starts. And you start marching to France. Um, so... The benefit for us right now is because we have all these mill techs, we have plus four digging capacity. So all these guys should have a pretty good advantage if they were ever attacked. So you're going to stay there. Um, I'm probably going to have you stay... Oh, go over here. You're staying there. Mongolia's in our sphere, it's not going to give them access. Uh, China, I mean, it, it's possible they could. Treaty of Hanoi, what's that? Uh, it probably just gives us, um, to acquire some of their land, but we want all of it. Vin, let's get you here, and you, let's go to Zaya. 
Looks like we were doing fine here. Well, relatively, but now we should be doing fine. So I'm fairly confident in our army position or yeah, army compositions as well. Should be fine. I say, but we're losing a bunch of men. So it looks like I probably need another army here. We do have a bunch of these guys, which could I don't know if they're gonna get there fast enough. Maybe they will actually. They will. Wow, this guy's lost a lot of their men. Let's hope they can recover pretty quickly though. As soon as they get uh some of these areas occupied. So, we can't add any more war gold yet. Dynam is almost going to peace out this. Now that we attack them here, that should give us at least one war score to go ahead and use. No, we still do not. We really just lose that. That is nuts. We must have had a really bad roll. I wasn't paying attention to that battle. I thought those armies would get there fast enough, but I guess we rolled a zero and they must have rolled a really high number. Wow, that sucks. The 11 war score we just lost there. I mean, we'll make up for it, but that's gonna hurt. Right, do we have any really good attack generals? Hopefully one of you guys are plus two, plus two. Looks like the best we got. And I will be annexed. We could go ahead against Luang Luang, which we will. I'm going to send you over here to go ahead and attack them. Let's have you reinforce this army. And that should be all of French Cambodia. Yeah, they have a four defensive general. Which definitely helps them a lot. I just kind of curious how we lost so hard in that battle. And let's send you here. They do have their armies, and are they going to attack us yet? No, not yet. I'm going to send you here just to reinforce this army if we need to. You will reinforce any of these armies if we need to. Looks like we got the Russians here. Yeah, looks like we're fine. Um, we can't add any war goals. Though battles is now negative six. It's got 2.7 here. So let's go ahead and wipe out this army. Where's Zaya? This is Zaya. And you just go up here. Oh, I should have. Uh, yeah, you're pretty much healed already. Great Wars. Okay. I think I'm going to reinforce that army. You can go ahead and reinforce it. You too. Is Britain in a war? No, they're not. Oh, wow. Italy was really going to mess up Russia. Which they still... Oh, wait. No, they weren't. They're just going to give them back their cores that they just 
conquered. Well, maybe if Germany joins, they could probably do something. For right now, Italy, yeah, France is 600 brigades. Almost. Let's keep you. Actually, no, you don't have to worry about any more units. Already blocked off this west or western approach. You're going to Kiransk. Where's that at? Oh, so you are invading me. Go ahead. Yeah, come at me. See how that works out for you. But anyways, so I think I'm going to end this episode here. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. As always, please leave a like down below and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more content just like this and more frequent uploads. If you have any suggestions, please go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'll see you next time.